Hey, what's up, butterflies, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are recreating a callback look for the role of female. The description is pretty authentic and stylish, and I decided I wanted to play up on the word authentic and just talk about the pieces I chose and why it's important to stand out at an audition. Engaging is on my today's makeup. I am going to keep it. I would say a little bit more natural. I did a lot of um, browns, I would say, very goldy brown, um, soft colors. And at the end of this video, I'll be showing the entire look that I picked from head to toe. I'm not going to make this about necessarily the makeup, but I do want you guys to see how I achieve the look. So I'll be, you just be watching me do my makeup and every now and again, I'll give you guys some pointers like I did the last time. So for this particular audition, it was a group audition. Uh, for group auditions, uh, it's really good to kind of introduce yourself to the group that you will be auditioning with. They pair you right before you go in the room and give you an explanation. I advise just kind of introducing yourself to your group because it definitely breaks the ice and makes things a whole lot easier when you go into the audition, especially when you're going to be um, improving. So you want to make sure it's as, um, as natural as possible. And the only way to do that is kind of build a rapport with the group that you're going in. Um, yeah, it's really short lived. It's quick. You guys are, you know, just meeting each other, but you know, ask a question right before I ask them, how long have you been here? How's it been going to audition? You know, just ask a, a ice breaking question when you walk in to the room, especially when they sign your group, it'll just make it easier. Also, like, don't mind my afro in this video because the, you know, if you're a natural hair girl like me, all natural hair girls know that your afro goes to like different stages. And right now I was just taking it out of my braid. So it's kind of doing this blown out uh, wavy look. But for the actual first audition uh, for this um, casting, it was my big afro kind of because I hadn't washed my hair like in two weeks. So it was already like this big poofed out afro, which you'll see at the end of the video um, because I'm going to show the full look. Open up. And like I was telling you guys before, I wanted to focus this video on what I wore. I focused on the word authentic because it's so important for you to stand out at an audition. So you want to choose something that's going to make you stand out, whether it's your jacket, uh, whether it's a t-shirt, whether it's your hair. <laughs> uh, a hair is like a huge thing to make uh, anyone stand out. Um, or whether it's a t-shirt, it just depends on what you decide. For me, in this audition, I chose like this tribal cape. It's like a tribal African looking cape, which you'll see at the end, that I choose to kind of stand out. And I think that really, that's what really got me the callback for this particular audition. And if you guys are interested in learning how to dress for casting looks, you can go to my website, themodelsbootcamp.com. I do offer private uh, coaching and also I host a bootcamp, which the next boot camp that I will be hosting will be on November 23rd through December 8th. If you are interested in learning um, everything there is about the industry, uh, and it's all like the six day boot camp is like a crash course and um, you get everything from runway to photo posing to commercial um, audition technique. So it's just a good way. And I do have a section in there where I talk about styling your own um, aud auditions and casting. So I think it'll be very informative for for people who are really wanting to ace their look and book that audition. You OPN. We should be close to friends uh, If you OPN uh, Engaging is on my agenda Request my chariot to get ya The door's OPN uh, Take that hot road and hop in uh, Monarch butterfly and I'll be putting below all the makeup I used and all the where I got the clothing um, I was wearing and also this song which I think is fire found it by mistake <laughs> 
And for my eyeshadows, I use three colors. Um, for my e.l.f. palette, I use brown as my base, pink for my outer eye, and for my NYX palette, I used rustic for my eyelid. And here is the final look with my tribal and African-inspired cape, my top from Fashion Nova, my jeans are Bershika Vintage Denim. They're a line made out of Colombia, which was actually given to me by a friend. Um, the cape is was made by a designer here in LA called Miss Jackie. I will link all her information below. Um, like I said, my makeup was very brown. I used a lot of e.l.f. cosmetics for this. My lipstick was, um, I think it was Sunkissed Brown by e.l.f. I can double check, but I'll link it below. Like and comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Any ideas that you want to see in the next video, let me know. And there's my afro like I was telling you about. Until then, butterflies, I will see you next time.